Okay, guys, how you going? Fucking, let's just organise this camera a little bit. Get it straight. Oh, someone's on the piss and it's not the camera. <laughs> Fuck, no, hold on a minute. <laughs> got a couple, well, I've got one watching. I've got a couple watching now. That's awesome, awesome. Um, crayfish knocky. Uh, crayfish and knocky. Let me get the fucking, let me get the pan started. Right out of pants open up. Good day, Dave. How you going, mate? Fuck, uh, no, it's been a while. It's been like 12 months since I've seen you, Dave. What's going on? I thought we were mates. Anyway, that's all right. <laughs> that's cool. G'day, Ross. How you going, Aaron? How's things, mate? Daryl's watching. G'day, bud. How are you? It's before somebody says, you haven't got a fucking drink in your hand, mate. <laughs> Not pocket dial this time, no. That was crazy. Did anyone hear the abuse? Because I was just drilling my apprentice at the time and a little fucker. Can't believe it, man. Can't believe it. <laughs> Scott Porter wants to be in my video. Okay, go, mate. You can do it. <laughs> G'day, Craig. How you going, mate? Awesome. G'day, Nate. How's things? So, um, yeah, the pocket doll midweek uh, was a little bit crazy. It was a little bit fucking shit. Um, I'm having a lot of dramas with my phone, pocket dialing people. You're probably going to see me one day rub one out. <laughs> no, you're not. Um, what am I doing today? Let's get to it. I am cooking a um, real quick one for dinner. I just want to do a quick dinner at the moment. Um, and I'm all about, look, I'm, there's no smoke and mirrors. I come home, fuck, what am I going to cook? Let's do some, you know, everyone knows I do game meat and fish so I've had uh, a couple of crays just defrosting and I thought oh well, I'll, I'll just do a little, little um, like a knocky sort of crazy garlic crayfish and knocky you know so I thought that was simple simple quick and easy I was going to do a, um, a crayfish omelette this morning uh, couldn't be fucked I just had a couple of baked beans but if you want me to um, I'm probably in church tomorrow morning so if you want me to do Maybe a crayfish omelette, give me a yell now, that's fine. If you've got any more crayfish uh, recipes or any recipes you want to do, please give me a yell and I'll do recipes on demand. I'm you fucking cool, I don't mind that. Good day, Jace, how you going, mate? Fucking uh, awesome. I'm going good, bud. Anyway, I've uh, got a rum. And I'll tell you what I have got. I've got a hot pan, so let's get to it. Um, I'm just going to flog it down there for a minute, right? So I got a crayfish obviously you will you oh, fucking hell mate. You obviously need garlic. Um, I made some garlic butter some time ago. I want a big chunk of this shit. And it works well. So we're doing garlic crayfish. You want to melt some butter in the pan. As you can hear, it's sizzling away. Um, what you want to do with that too is put a little bit of oil in that because you don't want the um, garlic to burn. So really what you're doing at the moment is um, you're cooking that garlic, you're cooking the butter, um, and you don't want it to burn, okay? So what I'll, I'll do, um, I've got two cray tails here, and I've got a little bit of the mustard as well, but I'm only gonna prep one of them. I might save one for the morning, but um, you can see a little bit of that mustard there, there's a little bit of juice coming out of it. A lot of people say, well, how do you, um, there's a, just to show you, difference between a white and a red, I don't know if you can see that, you see the uh, difference in colors, I'll just turn the other light on, hold on. So Western Australia, we have two different types of crayfish, uh, whites and reds. Uh, this one's a white, this one's a red, you can see the darker colours in it. So I'm probably going to use a white. Um, how do you how do you split it open, how do you get the flesh out? So I've just cut around that head, I've got the head now boiling in the water. Uh, as a stock, I want to throw that into my, um, into my crayfish dish that I'm doing at the moment. 
I'm just going to get a sharp knife and split it straight down the middle. And that's the easiest way I can find to get the crayfish out. Um, you'll expose that little the shit shoot, throw that out. That's fine. Dig your finger in there. And just pull it back. There you go, and remove that flesh from the shelf. Hopefully you can see that, guys. Sorry if you can't. And right to the tail. Let's get it all out. There you go. And same on that side. Done. And as you can see, look at that. Beautiful. Flesh is out. I'm just going to cut that up. But before I cut that up, I'm going to throw some onions in that pan of garlic and butter. I want to get that, um, I want to get that sizzle going. Start cooking the onions. Okay. Beautiful. So we'll start cooking that and I'll just chop a little bit of this crayfish up. So I'm going to put some cream in with this, uh, probably a little bit of flour, and, and like make a roux sort of thing. So get it happening. We've got 101. G'day Zach, how you going mate? Uh, olive oil, the butter, that was butter in it. Um, I had garlic butter and then I threw olive oil on top of the garlic butter, mate. Yes, it was olive oil. Good quality olive oil, too. Oh, fuck. Look at that. Crayfish eye. You kidding me? Oh, that's a bit different. When I was cutting the crayfish up, the eye fell out. Ha <laughs> ha, how are you? Awesome. Paul, how you going, mate? Awesome. G'day, Adam. How are you? Dane's watching. Crayfish eye. It's not good. Alright, so carry on. Let's wash it down with a bit of rum. Okay, if anyone wants to eat crayfish eyes, um, don't do it. They just like tasting your little bits of salty shit. It's not from New Zealand. Is that, oh, this is Bubba Jr. <laughs> Frank, here you go, mate. <laughs> Things we do. Awesome. I'm just going to cut to that frying pan at the moment. I just want to have a look how it's going. Uh, oh, I'll take you over. Come on, let's go. Whew. Right. I'm still fucking traumatised by my crayfish, I think. So here we go. Um... Oh, can you see it? Can you see it? No, you can't. Okay, let me just dwindle it down a little bit. Beautiful. So there's my onions, the garlic. You can see the garlic's a little bit brown there. That's fine. Uh, I've got crayfish there and the heads going in, in a stock. And you can see there that garlic's starting to brown off. I don't want it to go too... I don't want to burn it. I really do not want to burn it. So what I'm going to do now, straight away, is throw that um, crayfish meat in there. Then, I'll put some cream in on top of it. So there's my cray. My cray tail. That's going straight in. Beautiful. Okay. And... I'm going to throw that mustard in too. That's all flavour. There you go. Oh, a little bit here. Beautiful. Magic. Absolute magic. Right here. Hold on. I'm coming back for a comment. Hold on, guys.
Absolutely beautiful. So I've got um, crayfish just went in. There's a couple of little bits of crayfish just there on the board. I'm going to throw them back in. So obviously the, um, the onion, garlic, the butter, crayfish just went in then. <laughs> hey, good day, Dane. Here you go, mate. Good day, Jared. How's things, man? Um, so what I've done, throwing that in. Now I want to start prepping um, for some stock. I want to try and thicken that up, get it nice and creamy, start thickening it up, uh, and then present it on the plate, obviously. I said a knocky, so... <laughs> <laughs> so I made some Nokia early on. Um, I made some Nokia. I made a fucking hell. I made a telephone. No, I made some Nokia early on during the week, and I've um, I've just got a little container full of it. I'm going to throw that in. So if you want to know how to make the Nokia, just go um, onto my page. We'll go on to earlier. Even some bloody leftover onion. I'm going to throw that in too. So go back on my page and you'll see that. Or go back on, yeah, just go back on. You'll find it. Awesome. And if you don't find it there, check out my Instagram. So, um, I love it. Beautiful. Adam. <laughs> uh, how do I get a shirt in New Zealand? Shit. I'll just go, I'm going to have to come to New Zealand, mate. I really am. So, okay. Where am I? I've lost all thought now. Um, Look at this. This is absolute magical. Onion, garlic, the crayfish. What I want to do now is start to make it creamy, nice little gravy in it. I'm going to throw that gnocchi in, work around. Um, what I'll do is put that um, the stock in, a little bit of that uh, crayfish stock, and finish it. Okay, so throw it back on the heat. Okay. Done. A little bit of cream. Beautiful. Throw some. There's probably uh, about a cup of cream gone in it. There you go. Now, um, Oh, I've got to show you something. Hold on, guys. Fuck. I forgot all about it. Look at this. So in my garden, I've got um, sun-dried tomatoes growing in my garden. And um, what I've been doing all day today, that's why I haven't been uh, live today, so I've been fucking busy. Um, I'm doing... Um, I'm making... I've got cherry tomatoes growing, so I'm making um, sun-dried cherry tomatoes. And they are... Absolutely, oh, mate. Absolutely fucking beautiful. So I'm just, um, as I get to, when I'm drying them out, as I get to a little bit shrunk like that, just put them in a container. And I've got a full container at the moment. I've got a whole heap of tomatoes going on. And I might even, I'll tell you what. I might even throw a few of these um, sun-dried tomatoes in with that no in with the crayfish and the gnocchi because that would just give it that extra little bit of a taste. Like just a handful of them uh, would work out perfect. That's, that's cool. Oh man. I just shrivel up a little bit, take the moisture out like that. It's so sweet. So what I've done is just put a little bit of barbecue spice over the top. Lots of salt. And um, I'm going to throw a few of these straight in there. Oh man. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. Look at that. And that'll, um, with that crayfish, a nice little spice to it. A little bit of heat. That's cool. That is good. All right, let's get back to it. G'day, Frank. How you going, mate? 
How do I grow sun-dried tomatoes? Ah, uh, my friend. So, what you do is grow them in the sun and then dry them out. Right, so there you go. I'm throwing probably half a cup in there. And what I'll do with them is just put them in, um, I'll soak them in olive oil and they'll stay forever. Go, okay, Sean, how you going, mate? The mullet. How good is the fucking mullet? Crazy. Oh. need to thicken this up a little bit because if I throw the cream in it it's going really well actually I don't know if I will but I want to put some of that um, I want to put some of that crayfish stock in it and just make it nice and crayfishy fucking beautiful it is crayfishy ready it's got those sun dried tomatoes in it those cherry tomatoes nice and sweet and spicy it's going really well And there's my crayfish stock, look at that, heads in there, all the legs, I've snapped up all the legs, there's lots of meat in it, lots of flavour, and I just keep smashing that down, just work it down like this, chop it all up, and it gets, oh mate, it's absolutely beautiful. So I'm just going to tip a tiny little bit of that in as well. Now, good Adam, how are you, mate? <laughs> Someone's having a laugh at least. <laughs> Mark, you haven't missed much, mate. I haven't served it up yet. Don't panic, bud. <laughs> it's going well, but I want to. I want to cook it, so I'm just gonna. Ha I'm just hanging. That's why I'm hanging at the moment. You'll see me start hanging, and then uh, and then I'll start serving it up. Michael, exactly my friend. Rum and ginger beer, I'm sure I'm a pirate. Anyway, so it's going well. Hold on a minute. I'm going to throw the knocky in there in a minute. However, what I want to do is make sure it's nice and creamy and thick and fucking beautiful. So I'll get a little tub. I'm just going to ensure it's nice and creamy and I'm going to put a little bit of corn flour and I don't usually do that I'd, I'd rather it just um, you could do this you could just keep it cooking for a little bit uh, reduce all that um, all the moisture in it start reducing it and uh, it would eventually thicken up however I didn't put enough cream in to do that so I want to try and thicken it with uh, a little bit of corn flour what I'm going to use is um, some of the stock Right, so I'll throw in a bit of stock in there and I'll just get a whisk. Oh, get those lumps out. Ow. Definitely crayfishy. So all I'm making is pretty much a great crayfish gravy sort of thing. I'm gonna throw it in there. <laughs> hey Gary, how you going mate? Good to be back. G'day Rob, how are you mate? From Darwin. Uh, I'll be up there mid-year, uh, May, June I'll be up in Darwin, awesome, doing a little bit of hunting up there, that's cool, can't wait. Nice, I missed that comment mate, hold on, I'm going to have to go back, <laughs> there's something about the shit is going to get out of rent tonight, so. <laughs> I don't know mate, I don't know how you cook, eh? But that's, um, yeah, that's a bit crazy. But anyway, all good. <laughs> that cray eye. 
I don't know, it just tastes a bit, yeah, it tastes a little bit crazy, but anyway. So there you go. Hold on a minute. So I've just thrown that corn flour in there, a little bit of corn flour in that cray stock, and it's turned it into a beautiful gravy. Look at that. G'day, Rob. How are you, mate? Already sick it out of you. Anyway, <laughs> what I want to do now, straight in, I've got that knocky, straight in with that knocky. Fucking get in there. Get in there, you dog. Break it up a bit. There you go. I want to heat that knocky up in there. Get that flavour around that knocky too. Look at that. Absolutely. Fucking beautiful. That's cool. That is good. So I've got a little tiny bit more water. I'm going to throw that in there. It's going to soak up that knocky. Hold on. I'm going to, I'll bring you over. Because you couldn't see it. I'll bring you over. Look at this. This is fucking ball terror, mate. Oop, there you go. Put you down here. Hold on. So I put in a little bit more uh, water out of the cray. Just those cray heads, uh, the legs. Those sun-dried tomatoes. I've got the gnocchi going on in there as well. Crayfish, a nice gravy going around. And you can see there's still a little bit more water in there. I can throw a little tiny bit more in there. Just fucking turn it up. Oh. Yep, okay, turn it up high, give it heaps. Absolutely, that's going to be the perfect dinner. So those sun-dried tomatoes, lots of pepper, lots of chilli in it, lots of garlic in there as well, that garlic butter, the crayfish, and the gnocchi. Beautiful. Rightio. Wow. That... Believe me, that is fucking... I just had a taste of the spoon. That is fucking sensational. Anyway. <laughs> seriously. Seriously good. Uh, let me plate it up. Before I do that, let me get this crayfish tail back in the fridge because I don't want to fuck that up. No one loves a good bout of food poisoning, but anyway. Awesome. <laughs> Rob, how you going? <laughs> Menu log. I get this all the time, mate. Do you do Uber Eats? <laughs> Fuck it, I don't, but I should start. Anyhow. As you can see, once again, I'm just holding up a little bit because I want that to boil. I want that knocky to start getting hot, okay? I'm not ignoring you guys. Just settle down. All right. Here we go. All right. Let's get a plate. Let's start plating it up. Plate. Um, I think it would go better in a bowl with a fork. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Hold on. Here we go. Fucking look out. This one or this one? Come on, right or left? I reckon I'm gonna put it in that one, alright? I've got more plates in this house than you can poke a stick at, but that's alright, that's cool. That's looking really good. Wow. I want a little bit of garnish to go over the top of it too, so... Back to it. Garnish. Bit of spring onion, uh, some coriander would be nice on it across the top because it's crayfish. A little bit of, uh, if you wanted to put some spice into it, 
a little bit of lemon pepper or something like that would be work magically. Um, because that's the sort of thing you want to do. All right. Those flavours. Okay, here we go. Line it up. I was just going to put that down a tiny little bit so you can see. There you go. Done. All right. So there it is, it's thickened up really, really nice. It's got that nice gravy in it, that sun-dried, those sun-dried uh, cherry tomatoes. Just gonna stir that around. Yum. Knocky, Fuck, it's looking good. It is looking good. Holy shit. Yes. There you go, a little bit of gnocchi, the tomatoes, crayfish on it. Beautiful, beautiful. And let's just garnish it. Just gonna garnish it with a few spring onions over the top. Really would have been better with some coriander, but it's a simple dish. Absolutely easy, quick and simple. We're done. Let's get a fucking, let's go and have a feed. And that's how simple it is. Easy. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching. That is crayfish and gnocchi, uh, extra up in sun dried tomatoes. I didn't actually uh, think I'd do, but um, awesome. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Absolutely appreciate it, though. Cheers. <laughs> well, lots and lots of comments, and I just have a laugh at them. That's fucking cool. Cheers, boys. Um, there's lots left over. Look at that. Message me for the win. Uh, pick it up. <laughs> um, my sun dried tomatoes are going off. They're going good. Half of them in my gnocchi at the moment, but I've got lots going on. They are really, really nice, man. They are beautiful. That's what it's all about. All right, I'll be in church in the morning. See you guys. Take care. Thanks. Have a good night. Cheers.